In this video, I'm going over setup tips and tricks on the new Google Pixel Fold. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I want to show you some really cool tips and tricks specifically for setting up your Pixel Fold. These are some of the tweaks that I have made just in opening the phone and using it for the first few hours that I think will be helpful for you as well. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to show you is how to keep your screen on longer. So you're going to go to the settings wheel. Mine is down here, but for you, just simply swipe up all the way up, tap on settings. From here, we're going to go to display. And then we're going to go to screen timeout and change this to at least one to two minutes. This way, the screen doesn't go dim so quickly. Okay. So next thing, while we're in the settings, we're gonna come down to battery. And one of the things I love to do is always be able to see my battery percentage in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And right now we can see the icon, which gives us an idea, but it doesn't show us the exact percentage. So if you wanna see the exact battery percentage, you simply are gonna turn on battery percent right here. And now it'll always show you the percentage in the upper right corner. Okay, moving on, the next tip I wanna show you is how to get the home buttons on the home screen. So right now, the phone is in the gesture mode, which you have to swipe up to get this bar, and you also have to swipe up to get to your notifications, and you have to use the gestures to move back and forth. Some people like this, some people don't. I wanna show you how to get the home buttons that we're used to having with traditional Android phones. So you're gonna go back to settings, and then we're going to swipe all the way up, and go to system, and then we're gonna go to gesture, swipe up again. From here, tap on system navigation, swipe up, and we're gonna go to three button navigation. Now this will give you the traditional home buttons on the bottom screen, and it will still give you that row of apps as well that will allow you to navigate back and forth um, through the phone. And if I close the phone as well, it's also gonna give me those same uh, buttons that I'm used to, those traditional home screen buttons. So pretty cool. You can always turn it off if you decide you want to use it the other way, but I think it's always helpful to know how to get these buttons back if that's something that you would use. Now for the next tip, I'm going to go over how to get more apps on your home screen. So if you hold down on the home screen here, you're going to tap on wallpaper and style. And here you're going to swipe up and under app grid, tap here. And you can change the grid to either a 4x5 or a 5x5. Now this will make the apps slightly smaller but give you more space to add more to your screens. It will also allow you to get more on the front screen. So as we close the phone, now our apps are smaller and we can now get a lot more on that main screen. So I wanna show you an app that I installed on my Pixel Fold that gives me uh, a feature that I really love. I normally use Samsung phones pretty religiously. In fact, right now I'm using, before I got the Pixel Fold, I was using a Samsung Galaxy S23 and a uh, Pixel 6a. And one of the things I love about Samsung phones is the fact that you have uh, a little uh, app edge this little handle where you can swipe from the outside screen in and it gives you these shortcut apps. Now we have something similar to that with the Pixel Fold in this little dock at the bottom, but still when you're using the phone with one hand, it's nice to be able to um, just use your thumb to swipe over. And so this is actually what I have installed. It's using an app called Panel. And let me go to the store so you can see what that looks like. This is a free app. Um, there is a paid version, but um, the free version generally does uh, just about what I need. Uh, so go to the Play Store, search for panels. This is the app here. And a quick um, download of this app will give you a really cool little uh, app shortcut on the left here, or on, excuse me, on the right. You can put it on the left or right, and obviously if you're left-handed or right-handed, you know, it'll vary based on your preference, but I love it on the right. And when I'm holding with one hand, it's easy for me to just open this up and have these shortcut apps here. Also, when the phone is closed, it's also easy to just be able to swipe over and have those shortcut apps, the apps I tend to use the most. 
So that is another uh, setup tip I have for you guys and that's just something I added because it's made it even easier to use the phone with one hand. That's for the next tip, I wanna go over how to separate your phone into different users. Now for myself, I'll be using the phone for personal use and for business use and I like to keep those things separate, i.e. when I take pictures on the personal side, I want them to stay in that side of the phone and when I take pictures and do email, all those things, I want them to be separate in the business side. And so to do this, I like to set up what are called uh, multiple users. So I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna swipe up all the way to setup. I'm gonna swipe up to system. And then from here, I'm gonna go to multiple users. And at first I wanna enable allow multiple users. And then I wanna add another user. And by doing this, I can now let's just name this business. I can now have a different email account and um, I can now have a different email account set up on this side of the phone and I can easily switch back and forth between the users depending on what I'm trying to accomplish. So I can turn on phone calls and SMS for that side as well and they'll be linked with a different email account as well. I can still see everything on both sides of the phone, i.e. when a call comes through, a text comes through, but it will keep the file separate and that's the most important thing to me. So, I've turned on this new user, I've enabled turn on calls and SMS. Now what I'm gonna do is hit the home button, swipe down from the top of the screen, and now I have this icon right next to my power button and my settings button. And if I tap on this icon, it'll allow me to switch to my uh, business user account and here it's gonna now prompt me to sign into whatever email account I wanna use for this side of the phone. So hit continue. And then it'll allow me to start downloading apps. I can have a completely different look. Everything can be totally different on this side of the phone. Think of it like partitioning a computer. We're partitioning the phone to basically keep our files separate. So this is one of the things I love to set up. It helps keep me organized. It helps me not to uh, mix, again, business with personal. So definitely wanted to show you how to do that. After you're done setting up that user account, you simply swipe down and tap on the little icon, the profile icon next to settings again. And this will allow you to switch back to your other account. And that's how you use multiple users. And that's it guys. So these were just my uh, setup tips and tricks. Um, things that I have done on my Pixel Fold just to set it up and make it easy for me to use day to day. Wanted to share these so that for those of you that have the phone already, you have some context of different things you may want to try out with your phone. There's so much you can do and I'm sure there's more things I will add later so you might see a follow-up video to this. Um, if you found this helpful, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment down below let me know what tip was your favorite if there was one that stood out more than the others. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.